Before we sign the Pisces, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the top cards that you see, they're paired with the bottom cards. And the decks that I use for this reading, I'll have them listed in the description box below. I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up around the first week of November. We'll see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, so Pisces, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got the Knot, we got the Ace of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups is very, po very powerful, very positive when it comes to love, happiness, and affection, like all the Aces. It's about new beginnings, and although I usually mean love, it can indicate beginnings, new beginnings in other areas of your life. So, with the Ace of Cups, things are looking up. People will respond to you with love, happiness, goodwill more than usually at this time, and you should be feeling really good about life overall. Also, it's a great time to make friends, make new friends when you get the Ace of Cups. Now, so the Four of Pentacles, which can be about holding on to things, maybe people, money, or situations longer than is healthy, longer than is realistic. When you get this card in a reading, it's definitely a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. The Four of Pentacles, it can be about anxiety, it can be about fear, could be about money. Or clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. But the key. The key is to actually realize. That being anxious and grasping. It doesn't. It does not bring security. So the recent past energy between you and your person. Ace of Cups. Clarified by this Four of Pentacles. So. Yeah, this was a new, a new relationship. It brought a lot of love and happiness and affection to your life. And if it wasn't a new relationship, it was an existing relationship that underwent a new beginning. Maybe deeper levels of understanding or commitment. And it felt like a... It felt like a fresh, new, encouraging start. But with this Four of Pentacles here, um, someone was doing a lot of unhealthy clinging. Or just something, something really unhealthy. You could have been resistant to change and just holding on too tight to this person could have been out of fear someone was holding on too tight because if you look at this four of pentacles this man he's got his money and his feet on his pentacles and he's holding on really tight really tight his eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head and his brain looks like it's about to explode and if a huge brick fell out of the sky and hit him upside his head he'd still be holding on to those pinnacles hand and feet so someone was just being really I don't know more was your person being clingy needy? Somebody was just holding on too tight. There was they they weren't giving you any breathing space. Or you were doing this to them. But it was a great new beginning. It felt wonderful. So no wonder you didn't want to leave this person's sight. New begin new beginning with love. Yeah, or either a fresh new start that just felt wonderful. So, 
that's a recent past energy. Let's move on over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the present time. Well, we got temperance and it's with the two of wands. Now, temperance, things could be going quite well, but you might need to look at any deep personal issues and see if or how they're standing in your way. And if they are, how to work through them and integrate them. Because the idea is to do what it takes to find balance in yourself and your relationships with any goals and aspirations. Now, it's with the Two of Wands. With this card, it's going to be important for you to keep your balance in every way you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. The Two of Wands can actually indicate a partnership. A partnership with another person, so this could be business or personal, or it could be both. It reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. So if you're feeling out of balance, just know that things are about to get substantially better. It's about keeping your eyes on the prize that you're looking for. Now, the Two of Wands is a card that's been below the work present. Yeah, so it's about trying to make a decision. With the Two of Wands, you could have two paths, two paths towards a future. Try to make a decision. Yeah, because if you look at this card, Look at the picture. You can see how he's he's got one hand tied to a wand, and then the other hand is is looking at a bird, and it's got his ankle tied to that direction where the bird is and where the wand is to the left side of where you're looking but to the right side that one he's only got his hand tied to it and his back is to it so there's something or someone that sparks his interest more much more so basically coming up temperance clarified by this two of wands so like I said, there was, there's some unhealthiness going on, or was going on with this recent past energy. Like I said, maybe your person was holding on too tight to you, and it just felt unhealthy. But, but the Ace of Cups, it probably felt wonderful, but realistically speaking, it was unhealthy, and you knew it. So, coming up, you try to bring balance back into the connection. Yeah, try to remove or communicate. You're trying to do this about this, this uh, unhealthy clinging, who's ever doing it. So, you realize it, and you're trying to bring, bring balance back into the relationship. You know that... This type of energy is unhealthy for the both of you. Now, you realize, like I said, you realize you need to bring balance back because you know that your person has two options towards the future. So, they're trying, you know that they're trying to make a decision. And you, you really don't want to give them any reason not to choose you. So you're trying to clean up everything because you know your person has another choice. You're trying to make a choice about something. One of the choices he's only got his hand tied to. But the other choice he's way more interested in and you know this so you're trying to clean up whatever's messy or unhealthy in this connection 
because you don't want your person to go in the opposite direction or in the you don't want you don't want your person to go to the right put it that way yeah so let's move over and let's take a look and see what's coming up for the challenge now we got the full card and it's with the page of cups now the full card it can indicate newness in one form or another now in many ways it does indicate it does indicate the purity and the open-hearted energy and the innocence of a child children they're trusting and trust forms the meaning for this card now this is usually a positive card, but there could be one thing. It's going to be important for you to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. As you can see, as you can see in the picture, he's not. And what's below him is all blue water. It looks like the Pacific Ocean. So it's going to be important for you to take time to be sure that you're looking where you're going. Because trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. So, that's a full card. Now, it's with the Page of Cups, which shows a need to play, dream, have a little fun. When this card appears, you could be taking yourself too serious. It was a poet, or maybe a writer that once said, The one thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work serious and taking oneself serious. Now the first is imperative and the second can actually be a disaster. So your challenge, like I said, the full card clarified by this page of cups. So I'm picking up for a lot of you Pisces. Your person, like I said, they had two options. One sparked their interest more. And your person for this challenge, it looks like they're ready to just, it looks like they choose you and they're ready to just take a leap and just drop the other one, untie themselves from that. So your person is going for it. They're ready for a new beginning with you or they're just ready to just jump right on in there. Jump right in, in this connection with you. They, it looks like they've made a decision. They're going for it. They're going to take a risk and drop the other option and run off with you or run towards you. So they no, they no longer have two paths towards the future. They choose you. And because of the Page of Cups is here, they really like the, that they have a lot of fun with you. Yeah. They like that your heart, you have an open-hearted energy. They like the intimacy that the two of you have. They like your playful energy. So, you help this person dream and have fun. So, they're jumping right on in. They no longer have their hand tied. They made a decision. They're taking a leap of faith towards you. So, let's move on over. Let's take a look. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. So we got the strength card. And it's with the sun. Now, with the strength card, it's important to meditate, contemplate, spend time alone, even if you're in a committed relationship and you have a lot of kids. But don't allow yourself to spend time in preoccupation and fear because the outward things will be going all right but what's most important is keeping your head on straight not only do you have the ability but you have the responsibility so conquer your fears control your impulses 
Never lose patience with yourself or what you're trying to do. Now, because it's with the Sun card, things are likely to be going really well. However, your finances, they could be in good shape. But that doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important in life. And money is not very high on the list for some of you. And for some of you, it is. It's a good time to socialize, meet new people, get out and about. And if you're looking for a job, this card can signify that it's right around the corner. So basically, the outcome... Wow. <laughs> Pisces, you're really happy that your person has dropped the other option. You're really happy. You see how that sun card, it pops out of all of these cards that you see. It just pops out. It explodes. You're overwhelmed with joy. And you feel strong. And the, the relationship, it gets stronger. And it starts to become mutually supportive and you two you two embrace each other with a lot of strength also you could be practicing self-love unconditional love self-respect you're trying to let your you're trying to bring your your inner your inner beauty to the outside because you're feeling empowered now you feel like you could live your best life yeah and what's interesting is that you add a lot of sunshine to this person's life yeah so you're feeling fabulous they're happy and you're happy yeah it's a good thing this outcome is beautiful really beautiful so that is the reading that I have for you Pisces I hope you enjoyed it I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way, you, that way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future? For the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks, there's also a link below for personal reads if you'd like to try one of those. So Pisces, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe. During this crazy virus season, hang in there, it's going to pass, and we'll all get through this. So take care, stay strong, come back and join me for the next Pisces reading, which will be in about another four or five days, just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind, if you're not dealing with the love interests, um, your person could be a friend, a family member, or it could actually be a situation because these are general readings. So, Pisces, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care. Next reading. And take care. Next reading. And take care.